Hi, I'm Mark. Welcome to Southwest France. Uh, if you're interested in watching an old guy renovate a 150-year-old French farm cottage, then please subscribe. Afternoon. It's supposed to be much cooler today. Oh no, it's uh, definitely not cool. Look at the lizard down there, it's got no tail. Where's your tail, mate? Anyway, where was I? Um, yeah, it's uh, quite roasty today. I think it's about 25, 25 degrees. Um, so, yeah, not in the mood to do too much gardening. Although, I had a crazy idea this morning, and I wasn't sure if it was a sensible idea, but I had these tree stumps that I'd cut down to the ground, dotted around, had about five or six. And, yeah, I'll show you. I found that skill saw. Do you remember ages ago I found that uh, old white stove uh, or hob in the workshop and inside the stove was a skill saw. So then I had two. So I thought, well, I've got a spare. So I'll use the old one, or not the old one, but the cheap one that I had to see if I could eliminate these stumps out the gr uh, in, the, or in the ground. Go, so it's worked a treat. So I've got all the tree stumps about an inch or two below surface level. So, and as you've just seen, I've got grass growing. And that doesn't seem like a lot to most people, but to me, that's a big deal. <laughs> so I've been thinking about this pot. Loads of people had good ideas. I like the idea of a fire pit and I like the idea of making it into a table. But do I need a fire pit? I'm on my own. Not really. I'm never going to use it as a fire pit. I can't, I can't seem to be bothered to be honest. Um, but looking at it, yeah, it would make a, a nice table, but it's just so heavy to move. Now, it has no bottom. I think it's screaming out to have a tree planted in it. I think it needs to go somewhere where it's gonna stay, plant a tree in it, and then then I can put plants around the bottom of the tree. Well, what do you think of that idea? Anyway, it'll catch up. Put my tomatoes in those pots. Uh, yeah, along that wall. They seem okay, they've been there, I don't know, a day or so. Um, you know, I can't eat tomatoes anyway, so if they do the tomato, they tomato. Um, nasturtiums, they are lovely, actually. I've never grown them before. Tom Thumb, still doing well. He should probably go back in the ground now he's a bit healthier. Have a little wander over here. So the plan was, I'll be honest, no, it's nice to see some flowers on these ones as well. So the plan was, because it was going to be cooler today, I was going to take the cover off of one of those rows. 
and I was just going to say to myself, stick the cabbages in there. I've got some potatoes to go in, in the house. Yeah, but I'm not doing it today. It's just too hot. Um, do you recognize this? Do you remember that awful fence outside the front of the house? Well, I've still got the gate. Now, where do I need a gate? I've got a little idea. Do something with those stones. Yeah, so just a quick catch up in the house. Um, yeah, got this room boarded out the other day, uh, which you would have seen. Uh, I didn't leave the wall open. I like the idea, but I'd have been so pernickety with all the edges, it would have all needed trimming, all those bits of wood, and it would have ended up costing a fortune. A piece of ply, uh, a piece of ply, a piece of uh, wallboard, plasterboard, is about eight euros, seven or eight euros. Um, so yeah, no, I just did it to cut costs. Uh, I'm guessing you saw me, if you'd have seen that video, yeah, casually wiring in that socket, no worries. Um, yeah, all very good. And then realized uh, that I hadn't actually wired it in on the other side of the room. Yeah, I'd completely forgotten about, I'd completely forgotten about putting a, uh, a socket on the other side of the wall. So I had to take it all back out again. Uh, and that was a faff, that was a proper faff. Anyway, it's done now. At the moment, they're the only two sockets in the room. So I'm probably gonna need some power in that corner somewhere. But um, yeah, that's where the stove's gonna go on that wall. So that's gonna need some thinking about. Yeah, a couple of people asked about this cupboard under the stairs. Well, most of the time I leave these doors open just to let some air go up the stairs. And inside that cupboard, probably not gonna be able to see, is where I'm storing all my bits of wood and I've got some old oak, old shelves. Um, there's no actual floor in that cupboard. So that metal bucket is actually sitting on mud. So originally, if you, if you saw my channel right at the very beginning, this kitchen area, which is now a kitchen area, was going to be a bedroom. And I did plan on knocking all that wall down that's um, the side of the stairs, underneath the stairs. And that was going to be, that was going to be the bedroom. But that is quite a big undertaking, probably quite costly. Probably have to do something with the floor. And that was not really in the budget for the new project that um, I started. So that's where I came up with the idea for the bedroom in the lounge. So, uh, yeah, what else was I going to say? I will, um, I'll tidy that corner up um, and I'll fill that hole in. But really, if you're going to do ventilation, you want to do ventilation with like proper vents, decent sized holes, little tiny holes. That's not the way to uh, ventilate a house, like cracks in doors and things like that. You end up your house ends up like a colander. You, you really want to control airflow. So that's what I'm going to have a think about. Probably cut a hole in the door and cut a hole in the wall to let some air move around. Um, just thinking about this, there is going to be a door next to the sink. I know lots of people don't think they should, and it will create a really dark little tiny area. Um, so my idea is to find a window that will go in that wall, that will go above the sink, so the door will be on the left and the wall on the right above the sink going up to the ceiling hopefully will have a window in it but that's that's just an idea this window i've not been happy with it since i did it i don't think it's big enough so i'm going to try and find a bigger window or a piece of glass to replace that one so that's all for now just a quick catch up um please like and subscribe and i will catch you soon